So first, so first let's define what a ratio is. Ratio is the quantitative relation between two amounts showing the number of times one value contains or is contained within the other. So before we proceed to the example, let's first identify the ways to write a ratio. So number one is the standard form where you put two dots between two numbers of proportion of ratio. The second one is the decimal form, which is later converted into fraction form. And fraction form is written with line, straight line between the two numbers, and the line between these two numbers and the two dots between the two numbers, in the same standard, is read as they are read as is two. So. This one is read as 7 is to 10, 8 is to 5, and 9 is to 2. The same as this one. 1 is to 2, 2 is to 4, 3 is to 6. So, in fraction form, or in standard form, this one. 1 half can also be wrote as 2 fourth and 3 six, but uh, lowest term is always required. So, this these terms uh, are rarely used if the required is the lowest term. So let's proceed, proceed to the first example on how to write ratio. So the first one is this problem. So let's read it. Ratio of cows. Two goats if there are seven cows and there are nine goats. <clears throat> so the first name that is mentioned are the cows and the second one are the goats. So what mention what is mentioned first should be written first. So as you can see the first one are the cows, seven cows, so we wrote here seven and the second one is the nine goats so we wrote here nine. And this one is read as 7 is to 9. So what does this mean? 7 is to 9 means that for every 7 cows, there will be 9 goats. So let's proceed to the next example. Example about ratio. So here's an example of a ratio that needs to be converted to find the final answer. So first one. 365 seconds is to 5 minutes. So, that's not the end of it. So, 365 seconds should stay the same. While the 5 minutes should be converted into 300 seconds. Which is the uh, lower unit. So, that they can be uh, se the same. And they can be both se in seconds. So... What we get, what we, what I've got here is 365 is to 300 because 5 minutes is equal to 300 seconds and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So 60 times 5 is 300. So 365 is to 300, you still need to find the lowest term. So to find that, you need to divide it by the by its GCF or greatest common factor, which is five. And after that, <coughs> you can get the final answer. Seven three three is two sixty. Seventy three seconds is two sixty seconds. So next, the proportion. So proportion proportion is. Uh, much bigger than the ratio because ratio is just a part of proportion. So what's what's its definition? Proportion is a part, share, or number as part of a whole. So <clears throat> let's uh, use some example what a proportion is. So you as you can see, um, proportion are uh, equated uh, ratio so this side is 6 is to, tw 6 is to 12 while well, the other side of the equation is 3 is to 6 so 
why they are equal because 6 is to 6 is to 12 is when um reduce not to its lowest term but lower term it would be 3 6 so that's why they are equal uh in this one you don't need to lowest term because you just need to find the missing part of the proportion so the inner part of the proportion are called means means uh, they are the ones that are near the equal sign and the outer parts are the extremes which are uh, far from the equal sign and near the means so let's use a sample problem let's say that 6 is to 9 is equals to 9 is to blank so this question marks uh, this question mark represents the number in the proportion that is missing. So how can we find it? First, we need to multiply the means in this problem. And the answer would be 72. After that, you will divide the multiplied means to the, uh, to the uh, only extreme that is present. And after that, you will get you will get the missing part of the proportion, which is twelve. So six is to eight is equals to nine is to twelve. When you get the lowest term of these two ratios or proportion, they will get the same, uh, the same lowest term, which is three is to four. So, uh, after that, e. Uh, if you get the final answer, that's it. And for example, the loss, uh, the loss number is an extreme, uh, or a, or is a mean. Yes, it's or if the loss number is a mean, you will do exactly the same. You multiply the extremes, then divide it to the only present mean, and after that, you will get the missing mean or the missing number in the equation so that's how we uh, compute pr for proportions and that's how ratio and proportions work and i hope you learned something new today thank you very much for listening Adieu.